Second Chronicles chapter 8. And it came to pass the end of twenty years, wherein Solomon had built the house of the Lord and his own house, that the cities which Haram had restored unto Solomon, Solomon built them and caused the children of Israel to dwell there. And Solomon went to Hamath Oz Hamathosba and prevailed against it. And he built Tadmor in the wilderness and all the store cities which he built in Hamath. And he built Beth Horan in the upper, and both Horan and the, ne the nether, fenced cities with walls, gates, and bars. And Belaith, and all the city, and all the store cities that Solomon had, and all the chariot cities, and the cities of the horsemen, and all that Solomon desired to build in Jerusalem, and in Lebanon, and throughout all the land of his dominion. As for all the people that were left of the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which were not of Israel, but of their children who were left after them in the land, <coughs> whom the children of Israel consumed not, them did Solomon make to pay tribute unto this day. But of the children of Israel did Solomon make no servants for his, uh, for his work. For they were men of war, and chief of his captains, and captains of his chariots and horsemen. And these were the chief of King Solomon's officers, even two hundred and fifty that bear over the, that bear rule over the people. And Solomon brought up the daughter of Pharaoh out of the city of, da uh, out of, the city of David, unto the house that he had built for her. And he said, My wife shall not dwell in the house of David, king of Israel, because the places are holy, where, whereunto the ark of the Lord hath come. Then Solomon offered burnt offerings unto the Lord on the altar of the Lord, which he had built before the porch, even after a certain rate every day, according to the commandment of Moses, on the Sabbaths and on the new moons and on the solemn feasts, three times in the year, even in the feast of unleavened bread and in the feast of weeks and in the feast of tabernacles. And he appointed, according to the order of David his father, the courses of the priests to their service, and the Levites to their charges to praise and minister before the priests, as the duty of every day required. The porters also by their courses at every gate, for, all, for so had David the man of God commanded. And they departed not from the commandment of the king unto the priests and Levites concerning any matter or concerning the treasures. Now all the work of Solomon was prepared unto the day of the foundation of the house of the Lord until it was finished. So the house of the Lord was perfected. Then when Solomon went to uh, Ezion Gibber and to Eloth at the seaside in the land of Edom, and Haram sent him by the hands of his servants ships and servants that had knowledge of the sea, and they went with the servants of Solomon to Ophir and took hence four hundred and fifty talents of gold and brought them to King Solomon. <coughs> Second Chronicles chapter 9. <coughs> and when the king, queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, she came to prove Solomon with hard questions at Jerusalem, <laughs> and if, uh, with a very great company, and camels that bear spices and gold in abundance, and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all, told her all her questions. There was nothing hid from Solomon which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen the wisdom of Solomon, and the house that he had built, and the meat of his table, and the sitting of his servants, and the attendants of his ministers, and their apparel, his cupbearers also, and their apparel, and his ascent by which he went up to the house of the Lord. There was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, <coughs> It is a true report which I have heard in mine own land of thine acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit I believe not their words until I came, and my eyes had seen it. And behold, the one half of the greatness of thy wisdom was not told to me, for thou exceedeth the fame which I... With, fame that I heard. Happy are the men, and happy happy are thy men, and happy are these thy servants, which stand continually before thee, and hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee, to set thee on his throne, and be king over the Lord thy God. Because the Lord, because thy God loved Israel to establish them forever, therefore made he thee king over them, to do judgment and justice. And she gave the king a hundred and twenty talents of gold, and of spices great abundance, and precious stones. Neither was there any such spice as the queen of Sheba gave king Solomon. And the servants also of Haram, and the servants of Solomon, which brought forth gold from Ophira, brought algum trees and precious stones. And the king made of the algum, algum trees tra terraces to the house of the Lord, and to the king's palace, <coughs> and harps and pales trees for the singers. And there was none... And there was none such seen before in the land of Judah. And King Solomon gave to the queen of Sheba all her desire, whatsoever she asked, beside that which she had brought unto the king. So she turned and went away to her own land, she and her servants. Now the weight of the gold that came to Solomon in one year was six hundred and three score and six talents of gold, beside that which chapmen and merchants brought. And all the kings of Arabia and governors of the, of the country brought gold and silver to Solomon. And King Solomon made two hundred talents of beaten, go targets of beaten gold, six hundred shekels of beaten gold, 
went to one tar target. And 300 shields made, out, made he of beaten gold. 300 shekels of gold went to one shield. And the king put them in the, ho in the house of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory and overlaid it with pure gold. And there were six steps to the throne with a footstool of gold, which was... Which, which were fastened to the throne, and stays on each side of the sitting place, and two lions st standing by the stays. <coughs> and the two lions stood there on, on the one side, and the other upon the six steps, and there was none like it made in any kingdom. And all the drinking vessels of King Solomon were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold, none were silver. It was not anything accounted of in the days of Solomon. For the king's sh ships went to Tarshish in the, with the servants of Harim. Every three years once came the ships of uh, Tarshish bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. And King, king, Sol and king Solomon passed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. And all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom that God had put in his heart. And they brought every man his present, vessels of silver and vessels of gold and raiment, harnesses and spices, horses and mules, a rate year by year. And Solomon had 400 stalls for horses and chariots. <laughs> and twelve hundred horsemen which he bestowed in the chariot cities and with the king at Jerusalem. And he reigned over all the kings from the river, even unto the land of the Philistines, and to the border of Egypt. And the king made silver in Jerusalem as stones and cedar trees, made he as the sycamore trees that are in the low plains in abundance. And they brought unto Solomon horses out of Egypt and out of all the lands. Now the rest of the acts of Solomon, first and last, are they not written in the book of Nathan the prophet, and in the prophecy of Ahijah the Shilonite, and the visions of Ido the seer against Jeroboam the son of Nebet? And Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel forty years. And Solomon slept with his fathers as he was buried in the city of David his father. And Rehoboam his son reigned in his stead. <clears throat> Second Chronicles chapter 10. And Rehoboam went to Shashim, for to Shashim were all Israel come to make him king. And it came to pass when Jeroboam the son of Nebet was in Egypt, whether he had fled from the presence of Solomon the king, heard it, that Jeroboam returned out of Egypt. And they sent and called him. So Jeroboam and all Israel came and spake to Rehoboam, saying, Thy father made our yoke grievous. Now therefore ease thou somewhat the grievous servitude of thy father, and his heavy yoke that he put upon us, and we will serve thee. <laughs> And he said unto them, Come again unto me after three days, and the people departed. And King Rehoboam took counsel with the old men that stood before Solomon his father, while he yet listened, saying, What counsel give ye me to return answer to this people? Give ye me to return answer to this people. And they spake unto him, saying, If thou be... Ki <coughs> If thou be kind to this people, and please them, and speak good words to them, they will be thy servants forever. But he forsook the counsel which old men gave him, and took counsel with the young men that were brought up with him, that stood before him. And he said unto them, What advice give ye that I may return answer to this people which have spoken to me, saying, Ease somewhat the yoke that thy father put did put upon us. And the young men that were brought up with him spake unto him, saying, Thus shalt thou answer the people that spake unto thee, saying, Thy father made our yoke heavy, but thou... Uh, but, may, but, may, but make thou wit somewhat lighter for us, thou shalt say unto them, My little finger shall be thicker than my father's loins. For whereas my father put a heavy yoke upon you, I will <coughs> put more to your yoke. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. So Jeroboam and all the people came to Rehoboam on the third day, as the king bade, saying, Come. Come again to me on the third day. And the king, king answered them roughly. And King Rehoboam forsook the counsel of the old men, and answered them after the advice of the young men, saying, My father made your yoke heavy, but I will add hitherto. My father chastened you with whips, but I will chasten you with scorpions. So the king hearkened not unto the people, for the cause was of God, that the Lord might perform his word, that he spake by the hand of Ahijah the Shilonite to Jeroboam the son of Nebut. And when all Israel saw that the king would not hearken unto them, the people answered the king, saying, <coughs> What portion have we in David? And we have no inheritance in the son of Jesse. Every man to your tents, O Israel. And now, David, see to thine own house. So all Israel went to their tents. And as for the children of Israel that dwelt in the cities of Judah, Rehoboam reigned over them. When King Rehoboam sent Hedraman, that was over the tribute, and the children of Israel stoned him with stones, and he died. But King Rehoboam made speed to get him up to his chariot to flee to Jerusalem. And Israel rebelled against the house of David unto this day. <clears throat> Second Chronicles chapter 11. <laughs> And when Rehoboam was come to Jerusalem, he gathered of all the houses of Judah and Benjamin, and a hundred and fourscore thousand chosen men, which were warriors, to fight against Israel, that he might 
bring the kingdom again to Rehoboam. But the Lord of the ward came to Shema, the man of God, saying, Speak unto Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, king of Judah, and to all Israel and Judah and Benjamin, saying, <coughs> Thus saith the Lord, Ye shall not go up, nor fight against your brethren. Return every man to his house, for this thing is done of me. And they obeyed the words of the Lord, and returned from going against Jeroboam. And here and Jeroboam dwelt in Jerusalem, and built cities for defense in Judah. He built even Bethlehem, and Etamah, and Tekoa, and Bethzur, and Shoko, and Adulium, and Gath, and Mersha, and Ziph, and Adurium, and Lachish, and Ezekah, and Zorah, and Al-Jalan, and Hebron, which are in Judah and, and in Benjamin, fenced cities. And he fortified the strongholds, and put captains in them, and store of vitriol, and of oil and wine. And in, and in several cities he put shields and spears, and made them exceedingly strong, having Judah and Benjamin on his side. <coughs> and the priests and Levites that were all that were in all Israel resorted to him out of all their coasts. For the Levites left their suburbs and their possession and came to Judah and Jerusalem. For Jeroboam and his sons had cast them off from executing the priest's office unto the Lord. And he ordained them priests for the high places and for the devils and for the calves which he made. And after them, out of all the tribes of Israel, such as set their hearts to seek the Lord God of Israel, came to Jerusalem to sacrifice unto the Lord God of their fathers. So they strengthened the kingdom of Judah and made Rehoboam the son of Solomon strong three years. For three years they walked in the way of David and Solomon. And Rehoboam took him Mahalath, the daughter of Jeremoth, the son of David, to wife, and Abahel, the son of Ehab, the son of, Je of Elab, the son of Jesse, which bare him children, Jehush and Sh Shem Ariah and Zaham. And after her he took Machat, the daughter of Absalom, which bare him Abijah and Atiyah and Zaz and Zizah, and Shilometh. And Rehoboam loved Machat, the daughter of Absalom, above all his wives and his concubines. For he took eighteen wives and threescore concubines, and begat twenty and eight sons and threescore daughters. And Rehoboam made Abijah, the son of Machat, the chief, to be ruler among his people, for he thought to make him king. And he dealt wisely and, dis and dispersed all of his children throughout all the countries of Judah and Benjamin, unto every fenced city. And he gave them vitriol in abundance, and he desired many wives. <coughs> Second Chronicles chapter 12 <coughs> And it came to pass when Rehoboam had established the kingdom and had strengthened himself he forsook the law of the Lord and all Israel with him and it came to pass <coughs> that in the 15th fifth year of King Rehoboam, Sheshach, the king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem because they had transgressed against the Lord. And twelve hundred chariots and three, three score thousand horsemen, and the people were without number that came with him out of the Egypt, the Libims and Sukkiums and Ethiopians. And he took the fenced cities which pertained to Judah and came to Jerusalem. Then came Shemaiah, the prophet to Rehoboam, and to the princes of Judah, that were gathered together to Jerusalem because of Sheshak, and said unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Ye have forsaken me, and therefore I have also left you in the hand of Sheshak. Whereupon the princes of Israel and the king humbled themselves, and they said, The Lord is righteous. And when the Lord saw that they humbled themselves, and the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah, saying, They have humbled themselves, therefore I will not destroy them, but I will grant them some deliverance, and my wrath shall not be poured upon Jerusalem by the hand of Sheshak. Nevertheless, they shall be his servants, that they may know my service and the service of the kingdoms of the countries. So Shishak, king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem and took away the treasuries of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house. He took all. He carried away the shields of gold which Solomon had made, and in instead of which King Rehoboam made shields of brass and committed them to the hands of the guard, the chief of the guards that kept the entrance of the king's house. And when the king entered in the house of the Lord, the guard came and fetched them and brought them again into the guard chamber. And when he humbled himself, the, laugh, the wrath of the Lord turned from him, and he would not destroy him altogether. And also in Judah things went well. So King Rehoboam strengthened himself in Jerusalem and reigned. So Rehoboam was one and Forty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned seventeen years in Jerusalem, in the city which the Lord had chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, to put his name there. And his mother's name was Nama, an Amoritus, and he did evil, because he prepared not his heart to seek the Lord. Now the acts of Rehoboam, first and last, are they not written in the books of Shishma, the prophet, and Ido, the seer, concerning genealogies? And there was war between Rehoboam and Jeroboam continually. And Rehoboam slept with his fathers, and was buried in the city of David. And Abijah, his son, reigned in his stead. <coughs> Second Chronicles chapter 13. <coughs> 
Now in the 18th year, King Jeroboam became Abijah to reign over Judah. He reigned three years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was also Micaiah, the daughter of Varel of Gibah. And there was a war between Abijah and Jeroboam. And Abijah set the battle in array with an army of valiant men of war. <laughs> Even fourscore thousand chosen men. Jeroboam also set the battle in array against him with eight hundred thousand chosen men, being mighty men in valor. And Abijah stood up upon Mount Zermenium, which is in Mount Ephraim, and said, Hear me, thou Jeroboam and all Israel. Out ye not know that the Lord God of Israel gave the kingdom over Israel to David forever, even to him and to his sons by a covenant of salt? Yet Jeroboam, the son of Nebet, the servant of Solomon, the son of David, is risen up, hath rebelled against his Lord. And there are gathered unto him vain men, the children of Belel, that have strengthened themselves against Against Rehoboam the son of Solomon, when Rehoboam was young and tender hearted and could not withstand them. And now ye think to withstand the kingdom of the Lord in the hand of the sons of David, and ye be a great multitude, but there are with you golden calves which Jeroboam made you for gods. Have you not cast out the priests of the Lord, the sons of Aaron, and the Levites? <coughs> <coughs> and have made you priests after the manner of the nations of other lands, so that whosoever cometh to consecrate himself with a young bullock and seven rams, the same may be a priest of them that are no gods. But as for us, the Lord is our God, and we have not forsaken him, and the priests which minister unto the Lord are the sons of Aaron, and the Levites wait upon their business. And they burn unto the Lord every morning and every evening, burn sacrifices and sweet incense. The showbread also set they in order upon the pure table, and the candlestick of gold with the lamps thereof, to burn every evening. For we keep the charge of the Lord our God, yet ye have forsaken him. And behold, God himself is with us for our captain, and his priests with Israel sounding trumpets to cry alarm against you. O children of Israel, fight ye not against the Lord God of your fathers, for ye shall not prosper. But Jeroboam caused an, uh, a, an ambushment to come out from behind them, so they, so they were before Judah, and the ambushment was behind them. And when Judah looked back, and behold, the battle was before and behind, they cried unto the Lord, and the priests sounded with the trumpets. Then the men of Judah gave a shout, and as the men of Judah shouted, it came to pass that God smote Jeroboam and all Israel before Abijah and Judah. And the children of Israel fled before Judah, and God delivered them into their land. And Abijah and his people slew them with a great Solder, so they fell down slain of Israel, five hundred thousand chosen men. Thus the children of Israel were brought under at that time, and the children of Judah prevailed, because they relied upon the Lord God of their fathers. And Abijah pursued after Jeroboam, and took cities from him, Bethel with the towns thereof, and Jish Jishana with the towns thereof, and Ephraim with the towns thereof. Neither did Jeroboam recover strength in the days of Abijah, and the Lord struck him, and he died. But Abijah waxed mighty, and married fourteen wives, and begat twenty and two sons and sixteen daughters, and the rest of the acts of Abijah and his ways and his sayings are they not written in the written in the story of the prophet Ido <clears throat> second chronicles chapter 14 <clears throat> So Abijah slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David. And Asa his son reigned in his stead. In these days the land was quiet ten years. And Asa did that which was good in the right of the that was good and right in the eyes of the Lord his God. For he forsook the altars of strange gods and the high places, and brake down the images and cut down the groves. <coughs> and commanded Judah to seek the Lord God of their fathers and to do the law and the commandment. Also, he took away out of all the cities of Judah the high places and the images, and the kingdom was quiet before him. And he built fenced cities in Judah, for the land had rest, and he had no war in those years, because the Lord had given him rest. Therefore he said unto Judah, Let us build these cities and make them, and make about them walls and towers, gates and bars, while the land is yet before us. Because we have sought the Lord our God, we have sought him, and he hath given us rest on every side, so they built and prospered. And Asa had an army of men, had an army of men that bear targets and spears, and out of Judah three hundred thousand, and out of Benjamin that bear shields and drew bows two hundred and fourscore thousand. All these were mighty men of valor. <coughs> valor. And there came out against them Zerah the Ethiopian with a host of a thousand thousand and three hundred chariots, and came upon Mersh. Mersha. And then Asa went out against him, and they set the battle in array in the valley of Zephathath at Mersha. And Asa cried unto the Lord his God, and said, Lord, it is nothing uh, with thee to help, whether with many or with them that have no power. Help us, o, lo o Lord our God, for we rest on thee, and in thy name we go against this multitude. O Lord, thou art our God, yet not man prevail against thee. So the Lord smote the Ephesians, uh, Ethiopians before Asa and before Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. And Asa and the people that were with him pursued them unto Gerar, and the Ethiopians were overthrown, and they could not recover themselves, for they were destroyed before the Lord and before his host, and they carried away very much spoil. And they smote all the cities round about Gerar, are, for the fear of the Lord came upon them, and they spoiled all the cities, and there was exceeding much spoil in them. And they smote also the tents of cattle, and carried away sheep and camels in abundance.
and return to Jerusalem. Till next time.